Hello and welcome to Sega News Bits. I'm Barry, with me is George. Hello everyone. And we're going to be talking about that Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Hey, have you heard about it? Apparently a lot of uh, websites on the internet are thinking it's brand new news, but to be quite honest, we've known about Sonic the Hedgehog having a movie from Sony Pictures since 2014. So it's it's been a while, and we were thinking that maybe it would be a little bit more uh, of a wait before the movie comes out, but according to Sega Sammy Holdings CEO Hajime Satomi, he sat down for an interview and he discussed a lot of things going on, including restructuring, entertainment resorts, things like that. But he did let slip that um, the Sony picture... Well, actually, here, let me just uh, let me read the quote. Sega Sammy Group is currently planning with Sony Pictures to create a live-action and animation hybrid Sonic the Hedgehog movie scheduled for release in 2018. With this CG animation production, we would like to expand our business into other entertainment areas beyond what we are currently involved. Um, so, you know, it's kind of cut and dry, but the big thing there is that 2018 is the date. George, is this too long of a wait for your Sonic the Hedgehog meets, I don't know, humans? Yeah, um, no, this is too kind of long of a, of a wait, but I, I say as long as it's going to be a good movie and it takes that long, do it. I'm actually surprised. I For some reason, I thought it was going to be announced this year for the 25th anniversary, but yeah. I'm actually wrong about that. So I was kind of hoping we actually saw something, maybe a cast, but yeah. they haven't even shown that. I was expecting this year we would get an announcement and then it would come out in 2017. Yeah, that's what I was kind of expecting. But 2018, i that's how long it's going to take them to make it. I guess that's how it's going to make it. The only the only thing I'm nervous about this movie is that it's um, half live action, half animated. And uh, when they first announced it in 2014, they said they, they were influenced by... Well, they wanted to reboot Sonic, and they saw movies like The Chickmunks and... <laughs> the uh, and the uh, the Smurf movie as kind of the way they wanted to go, and I don't really like those movies, so hopefully they don't. Yeah, it's it's tricky because I can see how it could work. Like if you if you film like beautiful beach settings, like they go down to I don't know the the tropics, and they just they film beautiful beaches, but then they they superimpose uh, really high quality CG animation of you know Sonic and Tails and the tornado and uh, Dr. Eggman's creations, that could be really cool. And, um, uh, you know, and if Eggman's live action, that could be really weird, but it could be kind of interesting just because if, if he was CG, it would be like, well, you might as well just go all CG. Um, there's one movie I saw recently. It was um, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, uh, Sponge Out of Water. It was on Hulu for free. And I watched it, and it wasn't that bad. I mean, it was kind of. I thought it was kind of interesting how they melded the CG characters with the um, with the real world, but didn't come off as like super hokey like uh, the Chipmunks or Smurfs did. I think the key is that they they have to just completely steer clear of that bullshit um, uh, tired old plot that they do in kids movies, where it's like. Sonic, you know, fell through a portal and now he's in New York and he's dealing with real things and whoa, what's that taxi cab doing, Sonic? And hey, <laughs> here comes uh, here comes Doogie Howser, you know. Oh, he grew up, but now he's uh, now he's your best friend and you're going to hang out. Like, just don't and Sonic's the star, so don't don't pile on celebrities who are going to take away the spotlight. We don't need that. And I know the Smurfs did that when they were like Neil Patrick Harris is in it. And uh, the Chipmunks did that when, I don't even remember, he's hardly a celebrity He's if he's starring in the Chipmunks movies. But still, you know, it's like, uh. That's the thing, it's like, um, they haven't announced voice actors, and I kind of want, I mean, I would like them to stay with the voice actors they have, because I think they finally got it, I think, good enough to yeah. just keep them. I mean, Eggman sounds like, I can't hear, I can't imagine anybody else playing Eggman. Outside of Mike, and I mean, Roger sounds like he's he's nailing that Sonic role, and I think it'd be a shame if they didn't use them. If they just used some celebrity like Will Smith to play Sonic, it'd be weird. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Will Smith as Sonic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> that would go be fast. Nice. 
Yeah, right. Um, but no, that's a that's a good point because I mean I was just saying how it would be interesting to see a live action Eggman, but then I that that's a very good point that you wouldn't be hearing Mike Pollock then you'd have some celebrity in there unless someone shaves Mike Pollock. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he, I don't think he'll allow it. That's something we can ask. Actually, if you're if you're listening to this, ask Mike Pollock, would you shave your head to play Eggman in a live action movie? But don't tell him it was from us. Yes. Yeah. But, he'll ban you. He'll just ban you right away. But um, yeah. So 2018, George. Is there anything else you wanted to say about this upcoming flick? Uh, Sony. I don't know. Does Sony Pictures have a good history of these kind of movies? Uh, no. No. Okay. Um, <laughs> Wait, uh, 2018 disaster strikes. Yeah. Leave the comment. Uh, leave us comments and tell us what you think about uh, Sony Pictures making uh, Sonic the Hedgehog movie. If you never heard about it, what do you think about 2018 being the release date? If you'd like more Sega news, check us out at SegaBits.com, and also don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and follow us on all our social networks.